everybody. Susan Gerbic here. Welcome to the channel. Tonight I'm going to do a analysis of a video. This I think this time is Matt Frazier and it's spelled F-R-A-S-E-R. -E That's his last name. And he is going to be reading a reporter, reporter on a TV show. And this was recorded in March 2018. It is the NBC Connecticut Morning News. Now, I have written an extensive article about this. It's going to be in the description box underneath the video. So you can read it in more detail. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the audio, you know, the video and everything as well. The reading is very quick. Um, it's the whole, the whole uh, video is five and a half minutes long. The first two minutes of it are plugging his his upcoming event in the area as well as, oh, how do you know you're talking to dead people and how can you tell, what does it feel like, and all that stuff. Just platitudes and just nonsense, just pure advertisement for um, Matt Frazier. We have met Matt Frazier before. He was in um, the psychic sting I did with the New York Times, which was Operation Peach Pit. I've also seen him in person, and I have watched oh, lots of his stuff. He had the TV show Meet the Frasers, and um, he's one of the best cold readers I've ever seen that is living at the moment, and that's saying a lot. So I've seen a bunch of cold reading. Um, cold reading is whenever you are reading somebody without any information at all, totally cold, and, and that takes a gift. And he's able to do it because he's very charismatic. He speaks very fast. He's very emotional. He's um, in person. What he'll do is he'll reach out and try to grab, well, not try, but he'll he'll reach out and he'll ask, he, he'll say, oh, she wants me to, to hug you. And the person usually by that time is burst into tears and he can hug him and then everybody loses it. It's very emotional. So he's very touchy feely. And um, he, you know, he looks good, sharp, um, fast speaker. And he just has that kind of personality, comes off uh, very genuine, um, much like a fast talking Tyler Henry, I guess you might say. Anyway, so like a lot of other cold readers, if you give them an opportunity to hot read, they'll hot read. It's not his normal thing, but he's, he's going to do it. So let's watch him hot read this, this uh, poor um, reporter. I feel very sorry for her, and I'll explain why in a few minutes. Okay, so let's look at what happens, and then I'm going to break into it, and we'll analyze it, and then maybe go back a little bit and see what happens. Okay, so here, here we go. That you mentioned. So um, I want to ask you just how um, your group readings work. When, again, you, you sit down, you're starting to sense who you're seeing there. What about the communication part? What are they starting to communicate to you? So for example, I see your grandfather behind you. The minute I'm right here, he's like, that's my granddaughter. You have to let her know that I'm here. And he's very protective over you. He shows me there was military connection here in the physical world. He actually shows me uh, Marines because I keep seeing water. Do you understand that? Because mm -hmm. he shows me that you were just going through old pictures or looking at old pictures of him. And that's his way of letting you know that he was right there. This really comes in fast and furious, doesn't it? I'm already stopping the video. <laughs> okay, so let's see where we're at. So this is Shannon Miller. She is a reporter. I've looked her up, and she seems like she's brand new to the reporting business. I think if I remember correctly, she was a, a cheerleader in Texas, and now she's working as this uh, morning show host. She's filling in. She's filling in for the for the regular host that was that that um, Matt Frazier had had assumed would be there, and I'll explain that in a minute. But what ends up happening is he goes right to her. Okay, so there was this whole thing before that that was in some sort of interaction that would had happened before that, and he's talking to her about um, you know how he's able to hear from the dead and how he goes around and does his little thing, and you'll notice that she asks him a question and he goes right for her grandfather. He is experienced. Matt Frazier is very smooth, very glib. He's got it down. He knows he's only got a couple minutes in that show and he's going to go to right to the jugular on this poor woman. He's going right to it. He's done his research and he knows exactly what he's going to show. 
he's going to go for. And he goes right into her grandfather. He says, old pictures. You were just looking at old photographs. And um, he says, yes, uh, military, um, I'm getting the Marines. And you'll notice that the camera cut to him, right to his face. And you can also hear, I think her saying, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's a very emotional kind of um, response. And what I think is going on is she's crying. And she's trying to keep herself collected and the cameraman goes right to Matt Frazier. And Matt Frazier is not relenting. He is going, I got her in tears in seconds. And he's probably going, Ching! you know, uh, this is gold, gold stuff. And he's right for her, like a vicious rabbit or something. So <laughs> let me show you, let me show you a photo, okay? Okay, so what you're looking at here is her Instagram page. I'll, I'll explain in a minute that he thought he was going to be read by somebody else, but he, um, but it turned out that there's a substitution and we're, he's going to be read by, he's going to get the reporting done by Shannon Miller. So this was on her Instagram page. It took my team member maybe a minute to find it, especially when we're looking at photographs, looking for photographs. That's the biggest tell. When you're looking at Facebook or Instagram, finding these old black and white sepia photographs, your eye goes instantly to them whenever you're scrolling and you can find those because people share them like on grandfather, uh, uh, Father's Day, Mother's Day, anniversaries of the military, some of the wars and things, these um, wedding pictures, anniversaries, they pull them up and they say, oh, here's my father in the Marines and it's Veterans Day. So they'll put that up or here's a picture of my mom and dad on their wedding anniversary. And they, people tend to put those up on social media. So it's really easy to find them. So this took maybe a minute for, for my team member to find it. So this is her Instagram page. And you can see right there that her, this is her grandfather. It says a very happy veterans day to all our vets, both past and present, including my papa, Edwin Miller. He served in the Marine Corps in World War II alongside JFK, blah, blah, blah. So, um, she was just looking at pictures of him. Yeah, I think she was just looking at pictures of him. She was looking at pictures of him and putting him up on her Instagram page. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. How did she put him up on Instagram without looking at pictures of him? <laughs> the The point is, this is just scrapbooking. It's not like she's doing anything, you know, there was anything else, anything special. So let's, let's see where it goes. So he's gotten Marines. He's gotten... Um, her, her grandfather, uh, World War II, all that. He's got it. So let's see what else is going on here. There's, I'm sure there's something else because this is at least a two minute reading. Because mm -hmm. he shows me that you were just going through old pictures or looking at old pictures of him. And that's his way of letting you know that he was right there. And more importantly, he talks about there having some memory issues at the end. And he says, you need to know, he says that I never forgot about you. And more importantly, that even though I had some memory issues, he says, I knew everything that was going on. And your grandfather is such a flirt. Like, he shows me that when he was here, he would, like, flirt with all the different women and, like, the nurses. Do you understand that? But he had some teeth issues as well that he's acknowledging. Yeah. Did he not have teeth? Um, I think they were dentures. Yeah, because he just took them out when I'm connecting. He says, look, he says, can you let my granddaughter know I got, at least I got my teeth back now that I'm on the other side? Because he's showing me that. He's teasing you when I'm connecting with you. He says to me that you're taking his passing so hard and he wants you to be able to let it go. Do you feel like you didn't get there in time or get to see him in time? Yeah. But you talked to him by phone because he just had told me that someone held the phone up to his ear or you spoke to him by phone. Um, you got a little bit of the Tammy yeah, Faye going sorry. on. I've never cried on TV before. <laughs> that's um, okay. My mom showed him one of my broadcasts recently um, through the phone. Through the phone, perfect. So he knows about that. So when you wonder, if your grandfather is able to see what you, you, what you were doing and understands, even though you weren't able to say goodbye to him or you weren't able to see him, he saw you on that phone. When your mom held that up and showed him, look what she's doing, it's his way of acknowledging that, that he was there with you. And this is what I do at my events. It's two hours straight of delivering message after message after message. This stuff just drives me crazy. Do you think that that was okay? Because I don't. I don't like that at all. I don't like how he handled this. This is a... He, he goes nonstop for two hours. I'm not kidding. But what he's doing to this woman is that he's like going in for the kill. Like she's just a, a, 
a sheep in the field and he's the wolf coming out disrespecting her her ability to be a professional she's trying to be a professional journalist she has her list of questions she's going to ask them these questions yeah they were credulous fluff questions that had absolutely no skepticism whatsoever probably written by somebody and told here ask these questions you're going out and there's no respect for her as a professional there's no uh, respect for her as a um, an adult she's in tears immediately um, it's embarrassing it's degrading it's condescending it looks like um you know that the, the a man after uh, attacking a woman it, it felt like waves of attack to her i mean he's he's like in her face like like yeah does this make sense to you you know she's crying you can hear her crying you can hear her sniffling and he's like and and i hear this and i hear this and did you get that does that mean something to you and he's just like have some compassion right okay he's a, he says he's a psychic medium he doesn't need to have compassion he thinks he's talking to the dead and he makes some flippant joke about her grandfather's teeth and how he's a flirt and what was that all about he doesn't know his name well i know he knows his name because he could read it on here on her instagram page her, his name is edwin it just disrespect right gosh it bothers me this thing about the phone he says were you with him at the end and you talked to him on the phone and she says he says somebody held the phone to his ear and she said my mom showed me a broadcast on the phone that's not quite the same thing as he was showing he was he was um holding somebody held the phone to his ear no she says um mom showed me a broadcast of of showed him a broadcast of me through the phone it's not really the same thing is it but matt smooth he is he's smooth with a capital smooth he is so smooth he just barrels right through and says yes because that's what he's saying no okay i want to show you one last thing hold on a second okay so what you're looking at here is the reason why i even found this video in the first place this was a email i'm on his email list i don't know why he sends me emails all the time he's blocked me on twitter i hardly even ever tweet but he's blocked me on twitter um, because i've written about him already several times and this is what he put up on on um uh, in the email that was sent to me and he's trying to make it sound like a win he says hey i was supposed to be on this tv show nbc morning news and i was supposed to be interviewing with Kel carrie lee and carrie lee wasn't at the studio when i got there darn too bad considering that he was probably already had hot red carrie lee well so here comes this another woman he's not met before her name is shannon shannon um um is the person who's going to do his interview so he says that her grandfather set the whole thing up so he could talk to shannon really so shannon's grandfather made this emergency or whatever it was happen so that he could not interview carrie so carrie lee wasn't there so she would have to stand in so the grandfather made this happen so everything happens for a reason right i guess that these people I, it's hard to do this with a straight face really it is you guys i'm sorry but matt's saying that her grandfather had a faked an emergency or arranged it somehow that carrie lee i wonder if carrie lee's okay with this um would not be able to interview matt frazier so that he the grandfather could come forward and talk to Shannon about his teeth and how that he's a flirt and that she had just been looking at old photographs of him. 
important stuff these dead have to tell our tell the living. But Grandpa wanted to just make her cry like a, just like a child on on TV. She's trying to make her way in in morning television. She's trying to become a reporter, be ser taken seriously as a professional. I don't think that's what Grandpa wants for her. I don't think Grandpa would want that for his granddaughter at all. I think that Matt Frazier is a horrible person and he's looking out for himself. And that's it. That's my opinion. So this is what we call a hot read. What is more likely? That Matt Frazier is communicating with her dead grandfather, a dead man who is not there, or that when he found out he was going to be interviewed by somebody else, he went to the bathroom, pulled out his phone, Googled her Instagram page, went to her Instagram page, saw some photos, came back out of the bathroom, sat down on the couch, and he's ready to go. Took my team a minute. I don't think it would take Matt Frazier more than a minute to find that same information. That's what I think. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Oh, ring the little bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Um, please put all your comments in the um, under the video. If you want to watch this video beforehand, I'll put this down before, well, I guess it's too late now. I've already done my analysis, but you're welcome to go and look at the whole five minute, 30 second video in full and tell me what you think. Did I mess it up? Am I too hard on him? What, I, what did I forget? What did Matt forget? Like everything. If the only things he really got were teeth, flirting, something about a phone, and, and that he was in the Marines. You guys have a great night tonight. Thanks.